Hello everybody, I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back. And this is Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. News and updates though today. Our third little news and updates video. So I thought we'd go through some of the uh, last news and updates over the last half month. So uh, from March, approximately March 15th, 2017 to April 5th, coming up. Yeah, so today is March 30th and uh, Rockstar brought out another new update for us, which is kind of cool. Yeah, not too much new, a new adversary mode, but still three new cars in the last little while. And so we're going to go through some of those details. So, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to bring you back, it's back here because there's a, kind of a big, I would say maybe even huge, <laughs> game-breaking bug at the moment. Uh, not too much game-breaking, but it's kind of a big deal. Um, and I'm sure Rockstar is working on it, but uh, feel free to complain or to, to send in some, some trouble tickets to them. And hopefully that will help us all out to get it done faster, but hopefully they're already working on this little glitch. So I'll bring you guys back in a moment after we go through those news and updates um, to, uh, to show you what I mean. Alright, see you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, Rockstar, on their Twitter here, feed here, they've just uh, announced today, um, for, is this today, March 30th? Yes, it is. <laughs> just making sure. But yeah, uh, for March 30th, till April 5th, they've announced uh, GTA Online Resurrection. So they always give these things a little name, I guess, every week or every two weeks, depending on, I guess, what they feel like. So this one's called Resurrection. Probably to do with the uh, new advi uh, adversary mode called Resurrection. All right, so and then that one you can get double money and double RP yeah, in resurrection mode. So, and 25% off, a bunch of different stuff here. So we'll go through that in a moment. Okay, so yeah, they didn't uh, put it out on their usual feed this time, so we'll just go from their Twitter here and we'll just go to the next one here. So from here on their social club here, it gives us some, some ideas. So they give you 25% off the executive offices and garages and Tepesto and Massacro and handguns. And I found a better little readout on it right here. So yeah, from March 30th till April 5th, which is um, just till next week, they gave you 25% uh, off the executive offices, executive garages as well. So if you haven't uh, upgraded your garage, it might be a good time to do it. You know, one of these times when they're on sale anyway, get yourself 25% off. And uh, if you know anybody who doesn't have an office yet, or if you haven't bought an office yet, it's a good time to get one. So you have another 25% off. So even on the cheapest uh, office, the Maze Bank West, um, which I think is a great office, a lot of people like that one, um, it's a million dollars, and that would uh, save you $250,000 on that. So that's pretty good, even on the cheapest one. Yeah. And 25% off the Dubache, Dubache, <laughs> uh, Massacro, and the, uh, the Picasso Tempesta. Yeah. So that's kind of a nice uh, sports car as far as I know. And a lot of people like that, but that said, there is a race car version that a lot of people like better. I'll have to double check and see if both of them are 25% are, um, off. I would assume it's probably just the basic one. It's kind of like a uh, um, a uh, Austin Martin in a sense. And then there's the Pegasi Tempesta, Tempesta, which is very much like a Lamborghini. It's a very nice car. Actually, a lot of people like that. A lot of people think it's one of the most competitive um, uh, sports cars. Okay, it's not necessarily the best, but it's one of the top tier ones that a lot of people find very competitive uh, for the current time. So, in 2017. So, it might be a good time to get that, 25% off. And, of course, 25% uh, off transmissions and vehicle armor and brakes and handguns if you haven't uh, already bought all your new handguns. So, these can be helpful if you've got everything unlocked. Um, you know, it can save you a little bit of money across those if you're buying some new cars. Yeah. So, let's see here. Mm, wrong one there. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, they also brought out the Infernus Classic here, so we'll get to that in a moment. So they also brought out Resurrection Mode here, another new adversary mode. They've been bringing out lots of these, but a lot of people say this one's kind of fun, actually, compared to some of the other ones in the past. They've got some hits and misses. Um, it's got some interesting locations, the Aircraft Carrier and, and the all Ron Alternates Wind Farm, Legion Island. And apparently, basically, it's just uh, your regular kind of uh, team versus team combat, but as you kill them... Uh, it resurrects your teammates. And if they kill you, they start resurrecting their teammates. So that's basically how resurrection works. That's the name, I guess. Yeah, and right now it's a good time to try it. Double GTA money and RP. So that's all right. So we're going to go through, because we didn't go through too much of it. There hasn't been too many big updates aside from the vehicles. So in the last little while, they've brought out a few different things. So recently, they just brought out the uh, Pegas Pegasi and Furnace Classic. We're going to get to some more details uh, towards the end of the video about that. Yeah, I've been really looking forward to this one. I like the uh, the uh, Infernus classics. We'll have to see how the uh, new Cheetah is uh, as well. 
That little coffee here. Oh. Mm -hmm. I like that little gift there that they got. And it shows off the, uh, the lights. So we're going to have to get ourselves one of those as well. Yeah, great classic car. Yeah. I've been looking forward to that for a little while now. Mm -hmm. So... No, so that's one of the new uh, vehicles in the last little while. Last two weeks, they brought out three new vehicles, and that's one of them. Okay. And now we're going to go to the previous week here. We didn't quite cover that before. And basically, that's where the Hijack Rustin came out. Okay. And so if you didn't get this one, it's not a big deal. It's, it's a great car, very customizable. That said, it's not necessarily a top-tier car, so it's not anything to go rushing to go get. But at the same time, it's a new car and uh, customizable. A lot of people like it. Okay. But nothing too special. So maybe we'll get one, maybe not. We'll see. But yeah, I, I'm a big fan of new content, though. So two thumbs up for new content. You know, keep it, keep it coming, Rockstar. <laughs> so that's the second of uh, three vehicles in the last two weeks. Okay, since uh, about March 15th, I guess. March 14th, March 15th. Yeah. So um, uh, for the uh, GP1, I should say, this one was March 21st, but I'm covering the whole period here in our little video here. So some other things about this one here is the special vehicles are now available in the Stunt Race Creator. So that was some other big news about that one. And then quickly getting on here to the uh, to the two weeks ago update, because we didn't quite cover that. Then the main update about that was the Progen GP1 coming out. And I'll probably be getting one of those as well. It's a great car. You know, I'm not necessarily one of the top tier of the uh, the uh, supercars, but uh, very, very nice car, very collectible. I think that's mainly what it was made for. A lot of people like it. Okay. But not necessarily the new greatest car or anything like that. But we'll get to that too. There's some. So I think Rockstar is going to be fixing hopefully some of the, um, the the stats on a lot of cars for their handling. So we'll see how a lot of these cars are after they do that. Yeah. But the main reason I wanted to bring this up is because of this. So to me, this was the main news from that from two weeks ago that some people didn't quite notice or or didn't pay attention to because the GP1 took all the uh, all the spotlight. <laughs> But yeah, so now Heist Vehicle Instant Access. Your vehicle arsenal isn't uh, just isn't complete without a heavy insurgent. Yeah, but breaking into uh, Humane Labs isn't always as easy as it looks. The good news is you now have Buy It Now Instant Access to any vehicle that had to be required on Heist. So basically all Heist uh, vehicles are unlocked. Well, unlocked in the sense that you can buy it at a more expensive price. So you're better off to still do the Heists and get a cheaper price. But now you don't have to wait. Yeah. And because you can never have too much of a good thing, the Rhino, Annihilator, Buzzard, and the Dubsta 6x6 no longer have rank, requir rank requirements before purchase either. So that was also big news. So there's no more rank requirements. And uh, that doesn't affect me anymore. But I did remember that, um, that I, I was disappointed when I was uh, a younger player that I couldn't actually get these even if I did have the money until I was at a higher rank. And now you can. And the Buzzard's obviously one of the best ones right there. That's the, you know almost a must-have vehicle in the game. Probably the most important vehicle in the game, I would say, is the Buzzard. Uh, that and a company, just because it's so useful for the two together. Okay. So so they uh, they say the current ones, just to remind you guys again. So these are the 25% off. And uh, we had a look at uh, all the actual things. So executive offices, garages, and the Massacro, and Tempesta, transmissions, vehicle armor, and hand brakes. And handguns, I suppose, do. <laughs> all right. And that's all the updates from the last little while. Yeah. As well, um, the uh, the uh, stunts, uh, they've actually added 20 new tracks. So I should mention that, even though it was from two weeks ago. They've added more stunt tracks for those that are interested in it. And, you know, I haven't done too much of that, but I, I like that now when I go into it, I've got a ton of stunt tracks to try. So good work, Rockstar. You know, uh, even if you guys aren't playing them right now, it's nice to know that they're, wait or they're waiting for you and there's a ton of new content. And they're still keeping it coming. And as well, in the uh, stunt and content, content creator, they have all the uh, special vehicles now, too, and special props as of the next one as well. So a lot of people, it's kind of a hidden thing. A lot of people don't think it's a big deal. But that basically means that, uh, that the creators out there can do a whole lot more using the special vehicles, plus a whole bunch of the new uh, funky um, uh, props that they gave them as well. So hopefully we'll see some new uh, custom-made stuff that's pretty cool. All right, now we'll go back to the game. See you guys there in a second. Alright everybody, welcome back. So, I've got a little stolen stock gauntlet sitting here, just to show you. So, there's a little bit of a glitch right now. Now, um, there's a lot of videos out there right now, and, and I wouldn't mean to bug them, but there's a lot of videos right now that are saying that the new car, the Infernus Classic, is broken. Now, I would kind of disagree, and agree. 
at the same time. I, apparently a lot of cars are broken. So I would not say it's the Infernus Classic. It's hard to say if something new changed or if the Infernus Classic was just so bad that it attracted the attention to it. Um, but since then, a lot of people have realized it's a lot of other cars. Okay, so uh, I believe that uh, most people seem to attribute a, a, what is it, a Reddit Reddit user by the name of Lim Limjobs. Yeah, so I'll try to put a just link to that description of that uh, Reddit post uh, in the uh, in the video description if you guys want to check that out. So let's get to what it is. Basically, you cannot turn left very well. Yeah, so if you were ever driving or driving around and you crashed, <laughs> maybe when you're turning left and you thought, what the heck? You know, it, maybe it wasn't your imagination after all. So I'm just going to slow down here. We don't need that much speed. So I'm just going to show you what I mean here. So here's our gauntlet, and I'm just going to take a right turn. So a hard right, hard right. There we go. Okay. No big deal. Okay, well, good. Went all the way around. Okay. So there's a nice right turn. Okay. Now, we're going to go try a left turn in a moment here. So I might have to find a different spot here. This is not the left turn yet. <laughs> okay, so let's get it a little bit of speed here. And left turn. And watch that. See that? All I'm doing is simply putting my controller um, all the way to the left. And we're just spinning right out. Okay. Now back to the right turns. And around we go. No spinning. No stopping. And left turns. And problems. Okay. So, the gauntlet is broken, <laughs> but so is the Infernus Classic, uh, so is the, uh, the, uh, uh, oh, I'm trying to remember the name of it, Can Campel, it's uh, well, a car that barely uh, people, uh, most people never use, the Vigero, one of the cars I like, the old-fashioned Camaro, the Vigero's, that's uh, broken as well, um, the uh, Feister 811, uh, apparently a whole ton of cars are having this problem. Um, the old the Mamba as well. So certain cars uh, test more than others. You know this car, like the uh, Gauntlet here, is nice and easy to see. That's why I just kind of grabbed it. Maybe one day we'll buy one of these. They're nice cars. But it's just an easy car to see what I mean by turning left. You can just see just how it, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. You know. So why is that? Well, there's a little bit of debate going on. It seems primarily that they're from what what I'm just going by what people have said. But it seems like this back tires are the problem. I think it's the back right tire, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, is actually permanently damaged in a lot of these cars, or, or the game seems to read it that way. And that's why when you make a left, it's kind of like the opposite, you know, car, the opposite of your car. When you make that left, it, it doesn't grip it like it's supposed to, and it spins out. But when you turn the other way, it's fine. Yeah, so hopefully Rockstar is working on this glitch because that's kind of a problem. And for anybody who thinks the uh, the new Infernus Classic is broken, you can let them know it's actually a lot of cars are broken. I would say the game is broken. I would disagree that the car is not broken, more like the game's broken. <laughs> and yeah, is it a major bug? Well, it depends. You know, if you're a racer, yeah, it's pretty major. And and to me, you know, a lot of say, uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto is all about driving around. And to think that uh, that it's got glitches like that is not good. You know, <laughs> and I laughed when I first heard about it because I thought, you know, how many times do you do you, like turn around and you think, what the heck, I shouldn't have spun out there, and you know, your friends might look at you and go, oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> but turns out you might have been right <laughs> that there was something to that with certain cars. So you guys might want to test that out. I wish I could give you guys a better rundown, a better list of the cars affected. So far, it looks like there's a lot of cars affected. Like, a lot, a lot. So I'm assuming that uh, some people think all, or, or almost all, it's just certain cars. Um, it doesn't, you know, it, it's not a change that much by the handling. So it's happening, but it doesn't spin you out as much, so you don't notice it. But certain cars like this one, and uh, the Inverness Classic, and a few others, you notice it a lot. <laughs> I'm just playing around with it. So you can handle it, but just so you guys know, there is a major, major bug with that right now. Alright, so that's all the news uh, of the last little while, plus a little bit of a game glitch to, uh, to watch out for. I'm on the PC right now, but apparently this is happening on the uh, PS4 and on the Xbox, apparently. So it seems to be a, a game glitch itself. Like a game code glitch. Oh, it's too bad I can't do two thumbs down. <laughs> But hey, new cars is good. I think I'm probably still going to get the Infernus Classic myself. I'm sure that uh, I hope and think that, uh, that Rockstar will fix it for us.
All right, everybody. I'm the Missing Sock. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, I should take a flight. Yeah, we'll see you for the next updates. Probably around March 5th, maybe, hopefully. March 6th. As far as game updates go. Yeah, they've got uh, militias in store for us, gun running in store for us. I believe there's a Cheetah Classic on the way. Uh, a few other things that, uh, to look forward to in the next little while. So hopefully I'll see you guys for that. Should we buzz our own boat? Take care, everybody. This is Zach signing out.